Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this exact differential equation. Okay. So let us recall some basic things of exact differential equation. Definitely we have already covered in previous video. So let us revise few things and then we will move further. Okay. So when you have differential equation in this form, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Here m and n are functions of x. Uh, like this okay so this is function of x and y function of x and y huh? into dx plus n is also function of x and y like this bracket into dy is equal to 0 so the differential equation must be in this form so if deba m by deba y is same as deba n by deba x it means the partial derivative of m with respect to y is same as partial derivative of n with respect to x. If these two partial derivatives are equal, then we say the differential equation is exact. If the given differential is exact, there is a fixed method to find its solution. So the method is actually there is a formula integration m treating y constant dx plus integration terms in n free from x dy is equal to c so this is a fixed solution if the given differential e is, e equation is exact using this formula we will directly get the solution in this formula we have two integrations right first integration second integration we are taking the sum of these two integrations and finally we write is equal to c but see it is quite difficult to solve both e integrations simultaneously so what we do First, we find the value of first integration. Then we find the value of second integration. We add them and we write is equal to C. That will be the solution. So this is our method. Okay. So let us follow this method to solve the given differential equation. So you can easily see here. You can easily see this is multiple of dx. So directly I can call it as m. And this is multiple of dy. So directly I can call it as n. So let me clearly mention here in a given problem my m is is nothing but first bracket x square minus 4xy minus 2y square and my n which is second bracket which is multiple of dy which is y square minus 4xy minus 2x square so m is function of x and y n is also function of x and y so our first task is to check given differential equation is exact or not okay if it is exact we have this direct method to find its value if it is non-exact if unfortunately if both of them are unequal so there is a different method to solve okay in this video i will not discuss that thing uh see so let us check whether both of them are equal or not in next videos i am going to cover that part also so consider deba m by Deba y. What is meaning of Deba m by Deba y? Deba indicates partial derivatives. Partial derivative means what? When you differentiate with respect to y, we consider x is constant. And when we differentiate with respect to x, we consider y is constant, right? So in case of partial derivative, we use the same formulas of derivatives, the same formula. But simply the difference is when you differentiate with respect to y, x is constant. And when you differentiate with respect to x, y is constant. So let us solve. So I'm writing this deba by deba y. It indicates derivative m. So we suppose to put this value of m here, which is x square minus 4xy minus 2y square, right? So in case of derivative, as well as in case of integration, when you have plus or minus signs, we take the separate, separate derivatives and separate, separate integrations. So here are three terms, first, second, three, uh, third. And those are separated by minus sign. So I will take the separate, separate derivatives. It means derivative of x square minus derivative of 4xy minus derivative of 2y square. After that, what we do to make the problem more simple, if there are any constants inside the derivative, we take them outside. So there is no, see, we are differentiating with respect to y. There is no any y, simply x square is there. And we know that when you differentiate with respect to y, x is constant. Derivative of constant, 
0 0 see this time we have some y okay so it is not completely constant for its constant you know we are differentiating with respect to y so x is also constant so 4 and x both of them are constant so we, we can take them outside for x will come outside derivative of simply y is remaining there minus let us talk about the third term to its constant it will come outside derivative of y square so 0 minus 4x into this one you will get minus 4x derivative of y with respect to y is 1 derivative of y with respect to y 1 obviously derivative of y square now for this one i am going to write the formula here derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 in case of derivative what we do if you have term like this whatever the power we write first and we reduce the power by 1 so let us do that minus sign i am writing as it is 2 is there 2 into so y square the same formula i will use power is 2 so i will write before it and we reduce the power by 1 so 2 minus 1 1 so minus 4x into 1 minus 4x minus 2 into 2 4 y so this is the derivative we have got dab m by dab y now we will work on this dab n by dab x we will find its value okay so let us do that let us make them separate by this line so you can easily understand so now daba n by daba x okay so derivative of n what is my n my n is this one now we are differentiating with respect to x this value of n i am writing here which is y square minus 4xy minus 2x square okay so again how many terms are there three terms are there first second third those are separated by minus sign so i will take separate separate derivatives derivative of y square minus derivative of this 4xy minus derivative of this 2x square okay we are differentiating with respect to x so y is constant y square is also constant since we are differentiating with respect to x in case of partial derivative when you differentiate with respect to x y is constant derivative of constant 0 minus so here x is there but 4 is constant y is also constant they will come outside 4y will come outside derivative of x only okay so let us move further let me remove this part each constant will come outside and derivative of what x square so 0 minus 4y into this one we will have 4y derivative of x with respect to x1 minus 2 now the derivative of x square the same formula i am using okay the formula i will write here so derivative of x raised to n derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 whatever the power we write it here and we reduce the power by 1. So, what is the power here? 2. So, I should write 2 first. We should reduce power by 1. So, it will be 1. Okay. 2 I am writing here and reducing power by 1. Let us multiply minus 4y into 1 minus 4y minus 2 into 2, 4 and x. If power is 1, we never write. See what is the first derivative? Dab n by dab y this one. Dab n by dab n by dab x this one. Tell me both of them are same yes minus 4x minus 4y same as minus 4y minus 4x so both of them are same that means the condition is satisfied and we can declare the given differential equation is exact okay so let me write here let me write the conclusion see therefore daba m by daba y is same as daba n by daba x therefore given differential equation is exact so when you have problem and if you guess the problem of exact differential equation first of all we supposed to check we should prove that both of them are same then we can apply this method this formula to find a value of uh, to find a solution of given differential equation okay so we have proved it is exact differential equation now we need to work on this formula this formula involves two integrations right so what will i do i will solve this two integrations separately 
we will solve separately we will take the sum of them and we will see is equal to c okay so let us start to do so yes let me remove this part and let us use this space to write the next step just a minute huh? let me remove this part okay ready now so now derivative of uh, sorry we are integrating no so now integration of m treating y constant dx we are integrating we are integrating m what is my m this m i am integrating with respect to what dx m i am going to put it there so x square minus 4xy minus 2y square tell me how many terms are there in m three terms are there first second third those are separated by minus sign so i will take separate separate integration when you have addition or when you have subtraction if you have different different terms separated by addition subtraction we take different different separate separate integrations so let us do so integration of x square dx minus integration of 4xy dx minus integration of 2y square dx i took the separate separate integration okay so now we have to apply the formulas of integration but see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then we will go further okay so let us find the values of those integrations right so this is equal to this is equal to x square okay so let me write the formula the formula of integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 it means whatever the power we increase it by 1 and the same number we write in denominator so we have x square power is 2 we will increase it by 1 so it will be 3 if it increase by 1 so x cube and same number we write in denominator 3 minus see many terms are there and it is creating confusion for us so my habit i have developed one habit if you have any constants i take them outside first then the problem will look easy for us so we are integrating with respect to x treating y constant y is constant 4 is constant we can take outside minus 4y inside the integration we have simply x only x is remaining minus minus we are integrating with respect to x so 2y square that is constant we can take it outside 2y square integration dx x cube by 3 minus 4y integration of x same formula is applicable getting same formula what is power of x here nothing is there that means 1 is there we increase power by 1 so you will get into x square power will increase by 1 and same number in denominator minus 2y square do you know the integration of dx it is x integration of dx is x so x cube by 3 see we can easily cancel out 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So I will get here minus 4 x square y. Simply I am writing x square first y later minus 2 x y square, right? So this is a value of first integration. Now we need to we need to work on the second integration also. So let us talk about the second integration. So now let me write now. The second integration is integration. We write terms in n free from x okay you need to buy hard this thing so at a time of examination you can easily uh, reproduce right uh, what is my n so let me clearly write here what is my n y square minus 4xy minus 2x square tell me how many terms are there in n first term second term third term three terms are there terms in n free from x there should not be any x in first term there is no any x so you can take in second term there is x you cannot take in third term there is x you cannot take that means inside the integration you should take just first term only so integration just i am writing y square and after that we should write dy okay so let me remove this part y square again the same formula which i told to you y raised to n that means x raised to n same formula the integration is y raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so try to say what will be its integration uh, try to say okay 
so if you use it again and again definitely it will be keep in your mind okay you will have uh, you can easily reproduce so yes so virus to n virus to n virus to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 the power is 2 we will increase by 1 so y3 upon 3 virus to 3 upon 3 okay so i got the value of integration finally what we do we write the solution solution is solution is a sum of these two integrations so the value of inte first integration we have got it which is x cube by 3 minus 2 x square y minus 2 x y square and what is the second integration y cube by 3 so we have added the values of these two integrations and is equal to c this is the final answer this is final answer that's it finish so in this way we solve this problem getting see now i am going to give one problem for you okay so just for practice so uh, i am sure you have already watched my first video so in that video i have already discussed one example of exact differential equation this is second example so if you really watch these two videos you have i hope you have understood the procedure which we follow to solve exact differential equation so if you understood try for the this problem which i am giving here okay and if you have any difficulty definitely my next video will be there in that video i will solve the this homework problem okay first make a screenshot of it so you can try for this homework problem okay uh, try to find its solution and if you have any difficulty we will meet in next video in which i will discuss its solution okay thank you see you in next video